Hi everybody, my name is Diego Gutierrez and today I will be presenting day nine of the summer uh, thematic unit that was created by Alicia Garcia, Ivan Guillen, and myself Diego Gutierrez. So for day nine, um, the instructional target for this one was for the students to be able to build oracy and background knowledge using Spanish uh, realistic fiction as the initial language of instruction and to be able to develop sequencing, sequencing skills. Uh, the language objective um, was for the students to be able to write about the summer activities using new learned vocabulary using cognates and be able to apply the sequencing skills um, whenever they uh, write their paragraph. Uh, the literacy square strategies being used is the lotta lotta and I'm sorry, and the dictado for the writing. In this case, code switching is accepted, although they should not be language mixing by the teacher. So for this lesson, we begin with the warm up. It is approximately 10 minutes and it is Spanish as the initial language. And for this warm up, I decided to use the movie strategy. Uh, using movies um, helps um, incorporate visuals, especially for our monolinguals. Um, they are able to see um, images where they can make connections for um, English language. So we begin with the students um, at their desk. Uh, the, the teacher, like I mentioned, will use a movie strategy to support the development of the background knowledge and for the formal language. So you would show a video. Um, it could be from um, a DVD that you've purchased. It could be from YouTube of um, the show how it's made uh, and they this show shows different uh, products that are made um, for um, here in America and um, you can show a video of how maybe um, different summer snacks are made for example ice cream or um, popsicles etc um, for this case I used how to make um, ice cream popsicles so as the students are watching the video, they can um, record different cognates that they've um, heard on the, on the video and um, different uh, sequencing vocabulary like first, then, after, um, like it's shown in the Asi Sevisa chart behind me, um, which was created in a previous lesson that, that I did with the students. Um, so... Once they have um, viewed the video, written their um, words, cognates, sequencing vocabulary that they've discovered in the video, they will have to um, use that later to write a short paragraph um, using this vocabulary that they just learned. Okay? So after the warm up, we continue with a lesson. And the lesson consists of a 30 minute Spanish literacy lesson, including an interactive read aloud. Um, during this time, the, st uh, the students are working in small groups with a small group activity using the question and sentence prompt um, strategy. Um, this is um, student-centered, but yet guided somewhat by the teacher. Um, and it would sound something uh, like this. Hola, estudiantes. Eh, Recuerden ahorita que hicimos el calentamiento, la, el, el ejercicio de calentamiento donde vimos el video de cómo se hacían las paletas, eh, vimos eh, que tiene todo una secuencia. Primero se usó eh, ciertos materiales, luego se hizo um, otra mezcla, etc. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ahora vamos a usar eh, ese vocabulario que, que acabamos de aprender para responder a unas preguntas que les voy a hacer. Eh, aquí en, el, en la hoja que está en, en la pared, tenemos dos preguntas eh, cuales vamos a, a contestar usando nuestro vocabulario académico que acabamos de aprender. Eh, la primera dice, ¿qué hacemos primero cuando preparamos una limonada? ¿Quién me puede contestar esta pregunta? At this moment, the students will use the, the prompt that, that I've uh, included on the chart. And this will facilitate uh, them answering um, the question. Primero, 
agarramos agua, luego le añadimos limón y después añadimos azúcar. Muy bien. Ahora, ¿qué hacemos al fin de un día de campo? Again, at this moment, the students will respond using the prompt that was provided. Al fin de un día de campo, tenemos que recoger toda nuestra basura. No podemos dejar el, el parque eh, sucio. Lo tenemos que dejar de la forma como lo encontramos. Es correcto. Muy bien. Using the strategy of the um, question and sentence prompt um, allows the students to build oracy and allows them to practice that, that new vocabulary that they've learned um, during the video and during the um, structured conversations that we've had. Um, after that um, activity, uh, we move on to the read aloud. During the read aloud, um, we use uh, the book Que Puedes Hacer Con Una Paleta by Carmen Tafoya. And um, this book, um, the students sit around the carpet while the teacher reads it. And at the same time, um, the teacher makes stopping points to ask the uh, students questions about the book, what's happening during the book. So as you're reading the book, um, the teacher would um, ask questions, um, for example, ¿Cómo crees que la niña pintó su lengua de diferentes colores? At this moment, um, the students will respond um, after they've done a think-pair-share. Now, the think-pair-share allows the students, again, to practice um, vocabulary that they've learned and practice that oracy. Um, at this moment, the students will respond, Primero, la niña tuvo que comer la paleta para que el color de la paleta quedara en, um, en su lengua, por ejemplo. And as the story goes on, we would um, continue uh, with stopping points to answer questions um, of sequence during, during the book. After the read aloud um, activity, we continue with a literacy-based ELD, um, which is approximately about two hours. Um, during this moment, we use um, the Lotta Lotta, guided reading, independence reading, and of course, uh, the bridging into um, Spanish using the dictado for writing and um, the LEA or the language experience approach, um, again, to build some um, oracy and, to, uh, and as a transfer activity. So we use the same book, the, the book um, Que Puedes Hacer Con Una Paleta uh, also is available in English. Um, what Can You Do With A Paleta? Again, by Carmen Tafoya. Uh, you reread this book to this, uh, with the students um, now in English and um, since they've already read it in Spanish. For the guided reading, um, I would print a short passage in Spanish and have the students um, answer the questions, but at this time also using their strategies. As they read, they can um, uh, break the passage into chunks. I call the strategy a chunk and jot, which they will read one section of the story, write some notes on the margin of the paper. Um, so this will later uh, help them answering these questions that follow. Um, and at that time, I will, um, if I see uh, that the students are doing well with their strategies or as they are reading, I will give them positive feedback. So always giving them some sort of feedback so they, they can check to see they're doing um, what they are supposed to be doing. Um, some groups will be working again with this passage. Other groups will be doing independent reading, which should be about 10 minutes. And this is, um, the students will read books that are summer themed since our thematic unit is about the summer. Um, so it'll be a book of their choice as long as it's uh, summer themed. And um, for this, they can um, be comfortably in any space of the room as long as it's an acceptable area of the room and that they are reading at that moment. Um, for the bridge to Spanish, I will use the language experience approach or the LEA uh, as a transfer activity. And for this, the students will um, would present orally um, what they have learned. It could be either something they've learned during the video that they initially uh, watched during the 
uh, warm up. It could be something they learned as we were doing our um, our small lesson, or even uh, during our English English read of of the book again. Um, and move on to the writing activity, which was using the dictado. In this uh, moment, um, I, the teacher, would recite some of the words um, that they've learned uh, during the lesson. I would give it to them in Spanish and in English, since in previous um, lessons they've already done the dictado either just in Spanish or just in English. I decided to do this one both in English and in Spanish, and, and then they would have to give me the, the word um, if I give it to them in Spanish, they'll give it to me in English. If I give it to them in English, they'll give it to me in Spanish. And finally, for the homework, um, the students will receive a list of vocabulary words. It could include cognates or uh, English words that they've learned through the lesson. And for the next day, they will have to come back with a list. They would create almost like a side-by-side -side, um, anchor chart, but on their own paper. Um, of what the words in English are and then um, on the other side what the Spanish was or vice versa okay so this was uh, my lesson for day nine thank you